So lately I've been seeing more and more videos of this guy popping up uh, on my feed. I honestly never knew who, who Kit Ol Olberman was uh, before this week because he toned up his rhetoric and he's really sh showing his severe case of Trump derangement syndrome because he's coming up with even more and more extreme clip uh, every single day when he talks about Trump. Uh, most of the clips are incoherent rants who are uh, completely foreign to facts, filled with inaccuracies or outright lies, uh, and it's just him swearing out the president so we can make a quick buck on the uh, shifting narrative right now and shifting popularity uh, online for the leftist crowd. Okay, there's a huge uh, socialist, communist, and anarchist presence right now, uh, as you can see by uh, YouTubers like Vash, or Twitch streamers like Hassan Pikers who are um, avowed socialists, communists and anarchists uh, being becoming super popular right now and having a huge platforms because there's a huge shift left. That's why you see a lot of YouTubers like Shu on Head, an amazing atheist and uh, uh, I think his name is Ante Avalon, I forgot his name. Uh, a lot of them have switched to the left and uh, honestly I think uh, most of them are grifting right now because they're seeing the shifting popularity and they're doing what they have to do to stay relevant. Like, I, like I've like i been always doing, I will always be anti-SJW because it's super funny to me, the content is super entertaining and we gotta make fun of those retards for doing what they're doing. So um, I won't make that grift to the left even, in, even though it's very lucrative and you can imagine how many, how much subscribers I would get if I would make the switch and pretend to be a leftist right now and capitalize on all of it. And that's seemingly what Kit Olbermann is doing right now because watching the videos, uh, is he, he makes a point of swearing at Trump, uh, feigning outrage and, and uh, faking emotion so people will, will buy his shtick uh, so he can capitalize on the, uh, again, shifting popularity right now towards the left and towards hating Trump uh, because before it he was an, uh, a sportscaster, an unsuccessful one that made a shift to political commentary. I honestly never heard his name up until this week and I know many names of several political commentators because they are relevant. But in an attempt to stay relevant, Kit Olbermann, uh, uh, it seems like he has a podcast of his own where he goes off again on TDS field, field rants. Uh, which now have popped up on my feed, so we're going to watch it, we're going to talk about it. Uh, but before we do, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. 54% of you guys are not subscribed to this channel, so we have to remedy that. And on your way down there to subscribing, you should leave a like on the video, maybe share it, it helps the channel a lot. Let's watch the video and then we will talk about it. We are all tired, but mostly I'm tired of the needless sickness and the needless death and the needless terror because this mentally incompetent, inhuman, dumb bastard has lied about this disease in a thousand different ways, a different way for each different political need he has sensed. And I'm tired of the thought that we are now going to repeat the months of March and April in this country, a country that should have learned something, but which in large part has been authorized to wallow and die in its own stupidity because of one man, one dumb bastard, one selfish son of a bitch, one real life major French attacking the only hope we have, the science, and insisting science is wrong and Fauci is an idiot and only I can save you and insisting you can do whatever you want and the disease affects almost nobody. Donald Trump should be on trial for 220,000 murders death penalty for each count. So first of all, I don't know how you give somebody the death penalty for several counts. You can only kill somebody once. Uh, but there's a silver lining to this election and I'm going to talk about it in just a second. Uh, but if you watch the video right now, you clearly see this is a one minute long of him saying basically orange man, orange man bad and swearing at Trump. And there's nothing wrong with swearing. It, it can enhance your message. There's a lot of comedians and a lot of uh, figures, uh, public figures, who use their swearing and, and them being vulgar to uh, create a more effective message. It's completely useless and hacky when all you do is use swear words and, and, 
and curse out Trump just for the sake of hating on Trump and again capitalizing on the uh, left becoming more popular right now and, and anti-Trump sent sentiments being very profitable. Um, so it's very obvious what he's doing and how he's grifting right now. Because this guy, if it, would, if it would have been popular and profitable to slam Biden all day, every day, he would do exactly that if he knew it would make him as much money as uh, slamming Trump right now. Uh, and it's not like he's not talk he's talking about policies or criticizing Trump's choices or everything. This entire one minute clip shows him just cussing out the president, nothing more. And it's filled with lies and inaccuracies and facts that has been consistently spread out by uninformed leftists online. And what he's doing is exactly that. So he's signaling to them. So he uh, uh, gets popular riding that leftist wave. And like I said, there's a silver lining if Biden wins, okay? A lot of people are uh, stressed out, rightfully so, if Biden wins because of the uh, riots that's been happening. But I think if Biden wins, it will probably calm them down and, and make them step back. They will still infect uh, uh, the rest of society just like they did with race critical theory, uh, with all the things that they've been doing lately. Uh, uh, seeping into every facet of our life, if, even if it's entertainment, academy, and everything else. And even if Trump gets elected, it would only slow them down slightly. And even if you get 30 more years of right-wing government, it would only slow them down because it seems like America has been going through a Marxist revolution and um, it's, it's in a pretty late stage right now. But again, there's a silver lining to Biden winning this election and it's basically people like Keith Olbermann and all the blue check marks and all the TDS um, uh, streaking uh, uh, Twitter ruddies, they're going to lose their job, they're going to lose their grift because if they don't have President Trump to hate on, there's nothing more left to them. They created an entire uh, industry surrounding Trump and feigning outrage about every single tweet, every single thing he says, every single thing he does. And once Trump, once Biden gets elected, they have maybe two months after uh, uh, Trump leaves office, maybe up until March when, where they could run some conspiracy theories about Biden finally convicting Trump for everything they did to him, for the things they wanted to him, for the things they impeached him for which funnily enough Biden ended up doing and they, they completely ignore it. Um, but that's it. The blue check marks will have nothing to do. And I can't wait for the election results because if Trump gets elected, the left is going to throw the biggest temper tantrum in history. It's, it's probably going to end up with a civil war. Uh, people will go out to the street, will riot, will burn down businesses, will burn down buildings, and we'll see even more chaos. But if Biden wins, conservatives are, gosh, are just going to take it, let's face it, unless there would be very, very obvious attempt at stealing the election. Um, the conservatives are just going to take it. And a lot of leftists, a lot of leftists, thousands and thousands of them will have to learn to code because they're Trump derangement syndrome would not be profitable anymore and they'll have to find something else um, to make money and and uh, and provide for themselves so yeah that's the entire video thank you guys for watching what do you think leave it in the comments again if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell and leave a like on the video if you want to support the channel you can check out the links in the description for patreon or youtube memberships it really, really helps me to create more content for you and more often if I have your uh, support and even some financial support. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.